My god. This stepsist anime is actually good. I can't believe it. It's genuinely good. It's not trash. It's not bait. They're actually giving a fuck. They're actually trying to make the anime be like a good story. Um, Studio Dean is doing a pretty good job in setting the mood, right? There's like these random ass scenes where nothing happens except like a character just like doing some action. Like bro just like gets home, takes his shoes off, and then walks back into his room in the dark. And then like I'm just watching it and it's just like, holy shit, the animation, the whole mood setting, it just, something about it is making me drawn into it. Now, will people continue watching this after episode 1? That's the real question, right? In the beginning, remember, of a season, everyone wants to check out what's new, what's viral, right? And then, do people actually care? Let's see with today's reaction. Ohio. Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey! Bro, what the fuck is happening right now? They are... I swear to God, they're intensely stalling this shit and trying to set like a mood so like they can like get away with like animating like 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 straight up like nothing happened here. Bro just got out of bed. It took a 30 seconds like like <laughs> and I was just glazing it for a second but it's just like is this their strategy to like min max like instead of having shitty CGI they're just like let's take things very slow. It's gonna look good but it's gonna be very slow. Brother, move. Do something, dude. <laughs> Everything is in slow motion. Fresh basu! Oh. What if I want to? No, no, no. We rich. Alright. That's kind of cold still. She's really not going to open up to us, huh? Hold up, is this already opening? I think it is. The opening. Wait, the main character and the girl used to be on the same bus? Now, this is just like imagery, right? Like, this never actually happened, right? Or else this is like actually destined to be. <laughs> Pretty chill. last episode. Wow, family picture. That's right, a part-time friend. Okay, new school friend. That bus again. She's gone. Bye-bye. The chorus is about to drop. It's just happy, happy. Yeah, it's a vibe for sure. You're the boy from the bus. Song is two times louder than me? Good. All I do during these opening reactions is just bop my head and say, wow, anyways, it's, it's fucking pointless, but pretty decent opening, right? Pretty decent opening. So finally at school. Episode 2, a deal and a fried egg. Love life. So I'm her brother, I need to know. What? Why? Rumors? <gasps> She's a prostitute? That that's what they think? Cause she works like cause she works like a part-time job, really? Cause she's a gal and she's working. They think she's a prostitute. That's what, what a fucking jump to have. The blonde hair means she's a prostitute, guys. Wow. If you're blonde and you have piercings, you're a hoe. That's what, the, that's what this guy's saying. That's what the anime people here believe. Leaving the hotel district. That's probably because like that's where mom fucking works in the bar or something. Yeah. She's probably like, these rumors are gonna be rumors. No matter what I do, people are gonna believe what they want. So fuck it. I'm not gonna bother, you know, like saying, no, nah, that's not me. I'm just gonna be like, just go away. Just leave me alone. She's probably that kind of character, right? Pandora? Hmm? That girl, bro. You just 
just call my you just call my little sister a hoe. Fuck you. <laughs> my little sister don't got an OnlyFans. Oh. Name technique. Oh, so cunny. She sucks. Maya with two A's. She just got headphones in, bro. Sabori? Maybe. Maybe Niani cares. So she is good friend with Maya. ならさかさんだよね。仲いいんだ。いいよ。というか。確かに。朝村君。何でテニスにしたの?じゃないんだけど。大丈夫。私ももう一個の理由は情けないんがないから。他人に期待するとか、期待されるとか。およそそう。も
お金をたくさん稼いでおきたいの。言える I think we're thinking of two separate things right now. むしろさっきも大人になったって喜びそう。We're totally off page right now. He thinks that she works at Love Hotel. She doesn't, but the way that she fucking phrases it makes it sound like she does. Now we think that the mom is a fucking kingpin, just pimp, just pimping the daughter out. Wow, what a way to, what a way to raise the kid. Like, Jesus Christ, this misunderstanding just keep getting worse. No, dad didn't pimp me out. <laughs> Maybe there's some potential there as a fanboy porn, but. <laughs> Okay, misunderstanding clear. So he's apologizing because he was wrong, right? Didn't you say something about a job yesterday? Obviously, like, like <laughs> class eight. Everyone fucking knew in the beginning, right? Fuck what people think. Just do you. Huh. They're armaments, huh? They're like armor. The blonde hair, the piercing, the makeup, the fancy clothes. All the things that people like stereotype her for is her armor against society. <laughs> Brother. Do they raise your defense stats? How fucking slow are you? <laughs> Unless he's playing along with that and the defense being like mental health or some shit. Like, you don't actually mean this, right? <laughs> Do <Dual> what <attack. laughs> Misunderstand, Riz. Everyone's struggling, that's right. Everyone got their own problems. Yeah, she does. She's hotter than you, maybe. <laughs> Yeah. Well, no shit. She still only works at a bartender. I guess there's a lot of stigma that comes with it, right? Like, if you only graduated high school in Japan and you work at a bar as a bartender at that age, as a single mom, like, you know, it's not a very, like, elite or very world respected position, huh? But, like, he's pretty open minded. It's like, yeah, you're just doing what you gotta do to survive. <laughs> Even the mom's getting bullied. Okay, wait, wait, we're bonding. We're bonding with the mom. With the mom being the topic. That's true. Yeah, you just fucked if you do, fucked if you don't, right? It's just like. Double standards exist for a reason, but girls specifically get so fucked up where it's just like, yeah, you're either a gold digger or you're just too snobby and you'll never get married and you're too much of a businesswoman. It's like, no matter what you do, you're just kind of fucked. Yeah, and then it's like, okay, I'm not a gold digger. I'm going to focus on my own career and be my own independent woman. And then they'll say, time's running out. Or are you going to settle down and have a husband? You know, you're wasting your life as a woman. It's just like, you're fucked, whatever you do. So you are Kedesa. Konosugata was so Kiageta Wede, Gakugio Mushigotomo, Nani Mokamo Kampekina Tsuo in Ningi. Armament. That's why she needs more money. Daijovu, Sore, Sugoku Scarazo, Dakara Mikaes Dario. Oh, wait, flashback with mom? Old mom. Old mom. They're eating like. I think this is just takeout food, right? Probably like konbeni food. So this is already showing like the mom doesn't really give a fuck, doesn't really cook for the kid, right? Old mom, terrible mom, I guess, based on just this couple frames. Asamura-kun <laughs> The whole dependence stuff. Yeah. I wonder later if the whole love will come full circle with him saying you can depend on me. As soon as they get this whole dependence shit sorted out and they feel comfortable enough to like open up, maybe they're like the turning point of where it actually goes to Alabama territory is like, you know, the now you, you feel comfortable enough to like depend on me.
バイトの情報を集めてみるよ、okay. えバイト先の先輩がなんかしこっちが一方的にもらいっぱなしでも、then you do something for me then。じゃあ、味噌汁、送ってほしい。Every day? Hold the fuck up! Isn't this a line from Snafu as well? Where Hachiman looks at Totsuka the trap and realizes, oh my god, if I could just wake up every morning and have Totsuka making miso soup for me every morning, like, oh my god, I would just, just that'd be just it, right? Miso soup every day. <laughs> Woman, you gonna make me this soup every day until you die. That's the contract for you getting a part time job here. Does that seem fair? Shit, I'm in. I know. ああ、そうじゃなくて。そうじゃなくて。すごくうまいと思ってさ。メイクミモーホームメイドミソスープ。で。まあ、いいけど。オッケー。料理作るの。俺は綾瀬さんの自立のための情報を集めて。あげる。
men like prefer women who are a burden? Well, some people genuinely feel that if someone can't live without them, it gives them a sense of power and purpose. Straight up. Like, there can be some toxic relationships where, like, I think all relationships are codependent at the core root. You want something, they want something, you provide that. But, like, some people, it's just, like, they prefer if the other side was completely dependent. Even if it seems like baggage, it's this weird, like, power fantasy thing. <laughs> yeah. If you're rich, then great. If you don't have money, just find a sugar daddy or sugar mama. Just find someone to take care of you. I feel like that's a terrible fucking opinion to have, bro. Like, like I, I, it's a terrible advice to give someone. It's just like, oh, don't worry about it. Just find somebody that will take care of you. It's just like, listen, it might work for some pretty girls, but like, I don't think that you should take this advice too hard. You gotta save yourself. No one's gonna fucking do that. Oh, you probably do. No papas? What <laughs> 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 are you gonna get a fucking? Hold up, he's still looking for the- I thought he was gonna just get her hired at his job. She already started fucking making the miso and already breakfast, bro. Bro didn't even get her a job. I thought that, that now he's still looking for leads. It's not even our place that he's gonna be working at. The fuck? And she already got scammed. Uh, it's a co-worker. She is, but like, that's not the main love interest. Like, come on. Come on, it's, it's you and me, but that's gonna happen later. About the papas? Mm. I love how Sugar Daddy me just, is just basically papa in Japanese. Like, they just say papa and they just, that sounds like the buzzwords. Well, it's not that, like, she can't, but she just feels better if she knows that she can do it by herself. It's nice having options, right? Just being dependent feels sometimes hopeless because things are outside of your control. Some people enjoy that. Some people prefer if things are outside of their control and have someone else manage everything for them, right? They just leave that kind of like sheep kind of life. But it's also nice knowing that you have options that, yes, I can depend on them, but also I got my own thing going on and I can provide for myself. That offers me more of a... I don't know. A freedom of a mindset. Because she's opening up. <laughs> That's so toxic. <laughs> I wish she were shitty so that I don't have to change who I am and continue to be this Sigma grind set person. But you guys are too nice and now I'm getting buttered up. And in about three episodes, all of this is going to be gone and I'm going to be gushing for you, Oni-sama. <laughs> That was a little hint there, bro. Don't you get it? I don't think he gets it. There's a bag on the handle. Is that a gift? The fuck was that? There's no way this guy's gonna walk all the way here, right? There's no way he's gonna walk this entire path. No. No, they're not gonna show us that. He's still walking. He's walking. Hey, little sis, what's going on? Wanna get isekai'd? <laughs> Is this actually good? In the beginning, I was like, you know, wow, they're showing us nothing, but it feels like a lot is happening, right? I, I don't know. Is Studio Dean, I think, is being lazy. Like, it looks good, but if you think about it, what are they doing? Did you really need him fucking walking across the fucking cross light here? Filler animation, bro. I mean, it's dumb animation for sure, but like, what the fuck? <laughs> 
got a lot more frames, definitely. But they're like stalling so hard with this filler animation, man. Dracoon! This is where everything changed. We get Isekai, baby. Let's fucking go. Cliffhanger! What happened? <laughs> Ponytail, though. This is the conversation we're having after she almost run into fucking street. Like, she did not intentionally do that, right? She just was a little bit distant and was had headphones in, right? <laughs> That's the extent of the damage from the car crash with the fucking truck. Oh no! The right hand foot is gone! No! What are you gonna do? She don't got money to pay for this shit! <laughs> but she wasn't trying to be suicidal there, right? That was an accident, right? Maya low-key peak. Maya, Maya, Maya low-key peak right there. Yeah, we need more Maya screen time. This is the ending, I think, right? Sad times, because it's raining! This is a sad ending! Oh, it's time to share an umbrella! What do you think is gonna happen? Wait, don't skip the umbrella, see? Welcome home! Oh, he walked home by himself? He just gave the umbrella! Well, you could've shared it! Well, a, 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 a super cliche thing now could be like, he gets sick. Next episode, he's sick because he gave her the umbrella and now she feels guilty. And next episode, it's bedside manner from her and she'll like feed him and everything. And then we're going to bond more together. How many fucking slice of five rom com do you think I've seen, bro? Like, this is probably going to happen like that, right? I mean, that'd be an incredibly obvious cliche. Maybe they can subvert my expectations. <laughs> Abandoned our sister after giving her the umbrella. What the fuck? Did you just look at the truck again? Yo, is she actually suicidal? A truck passes by and she fucking still fucking looks at it. I thought she was just too busy listening to her music. So when she went into the street, she didn't realize what she was doing. But then the conversation made it seem like she was trying to die there. And he's like, what are you doing? But who is them? Who are you trying to prove wrong, society? One new message. Maya, what the f Oh, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Best girl is in her place now! Wow. And that is the episode. And... I don't know. I don't, I don't know if this is a good anime. Or if they're fucking making me think it's a good anime by sprinkling in these fucking filler animations here and there. What actually happened? Um, what actually happened is we got to got to learn a little bit more about like the mom as well, right? The mom basically went through the same shit, you know, low education, works at a bar, not a good look in Japan society. People look at her like she's some kind of trash, ho, gold digger, but whatever you do, you're kind of fucked. She has a very strong sense of independence because of that kind of upbringing. And then he kind of remembers some shitty things that happened with the mom, right? So there's obviously both sides just kind of bonding over... It's shitty experiences from childhood and life, and eventually they're probably going to get over this, you know, I want to be not dependent on anyone because I want to be my own thing, but they'll probably realize that, hey, if we kind of help each other out, maybe codependence is better than trying to just do this by myself. Maya is a pretty interesting character. Don't know really much about her other than that she's just friends with everybody and she's willing to just, like, you know, hang out with Ayase even though she's, like, pretty much, like... Oh my god, she must have an OnlyFans. She got blonde hair and piercings. So fucking stupid, but I, I get the society and culture there. And that's pretty much it. And we're like slowly, slowly getting to learn more about each other. But like, even like that miso thing, there, there was that line, right? There was that one line where, um, what was he saying? What did she say? She like left the room, right? Oh, what, what did she say here, actually? Right. She talked about how, like, you guys are too nice, and if you were terrible, then it might have been easier, because then I can just, like, be Sasuke and just, like, solo grind. But because the dad and the son are too good, she's, like, opening up more. So this is, like, an indirect 
kind of way of letting them know like yeah she is opening up more and it's just like getting better but i'm not sure she caught on to that but that's pretty much it for me if you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlists for more content and until next time take care